Hey everybody, welcome to another brand new episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. In this episode, I'm going to answer some of the most common questions I've been seeing about my previous video, how to capture a VHS on OBS. So let's get right on to the questions. So the very first common question or comments that I've seen on my previous video is that an OBS, once you've already plugged in the video capture device, you're only seeing a black screen. You're not seeing the little blue VHS screen that you would see from your VHS player. So the first thing that you might want to do is check that your device is properly installed on your computer. Now on the Mac side, the device itself should already automatically installed. You could check it under system information and you're about this Mac and under around the USB section, it should show like a AV to USB 2.0 connection. Now the Windows side, depending on which version of Windows you're using, in this case, I'm using Windows 10, you should see something like this. When you first plug in the device, it'll automatically say like, you know, a device is ready to be installed or something like that. And then it'll start the installation process. And once the installation process is done, you should be able to see it in your devices. So Windows 10 should already have like a built-in driver in there. But if you don't see that, that means you're going to have to install the drivers manually on your Windows machine. Now, depending on which brand is your video capture device, you're going to have to go to the manufacturer's website and look for those drivers. Now, I've seen so many different brands and so many solutions. There's not really a one size fits all solutions for this driver issue. So I posted a few links, a link in the bottom and also a previous comment from a user that was from my other video where I reviewed the Digit Now video capture card. This person had a suggestion on how to install the driver. So go ahead and give it a try or and also read the link that I posted below. Again, all this exer experimental, I personally did not encounter issues with this when I unplugged my own device on my Windows machine. So your miles may vary. So please be careful when you are installing drivers on your Windows machine. Number two. My footage is choppy or jumpy. So there's some ways that you can troubleshoot this problem. First thing you want to do if you are capturing a VHS, you want to check the VHS tape itself by plugging in your VHS player to the TV and watching it on your television. Do you notice any jumpiness there or any choppiness? If so, that means it's just the source itself, meaning the VHS tape. So again, OBS is just a recording software for you to capture whatever that's being captured on your video capture card and you'll be able to record it. So it's just a recording software and whatever you see is basically whatever you get. Now, if you don't see that on your television, then there is something going on with the capture card and the communication with the OBS software. So the first thing you want to do is check in your settings what frame rate you are so i never brought this up before because i automatically assume many of my viewers are in the are using the ntsc video format i was mistaken so if you are using the ntsc format you want to keep your frame rate set to 30 frames per second if you are using the pow video format try changing that to 25 frames per second now i've read in multiple forum threads on obs project that this might fix the issue but go ahead and give that a try and see if that helps your problem. Number three, my video source is just black and white and no color. So this one's a little bit tricky. I actually had to do a little research on this as well. And the thing that I saw is that there seems to be some sort of communication issue between your video capture device and the main source. So either a VHS player or a super high video camcorder and there's really not much to do, but maybe try a different brand. And unfortunately, um, I personally have not experienced this on my own, so I can't really figure out a remedy for this situation. The only recommendation I have is, again, go in your settings, change that frame rate to 25 if you are in the PAL video format region or 30 frames if you are in NTSC. Um, Another thing you could try to do is once you set up your scene and click on the 
capture device and there's also in the filter section you can play around with the color ray maybe that will fix the issue but i don't know if your video will look good so at the end of the day if none of those solution helps i would suggest getting a different brand of capture device uh, that might be able to fix that issue if you notice that your audio is not syncing properly when you're capturing the video you might have to go in the advanced properties and play around with the sync offset so i would recommend checking each offset and make sure that they're set to 100 milliseconds or even possibly 50 or 200 so you gotta play around with the offset a little bit in order to match the syncing back to the video one more tip is to also test different cables so if for some reason the composite cable you're using is not working properly or is just showing you some really blurry images try changing the cable and use another set of composite cables or also try the s video output that's included in most of these usb video capture devices so test it out and at the end of the day you know hopefully these solutions will help you fix the problem well, I hope I've been able to answer some of your questions. And do any of these solutions work for you? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to your channel and hit that bell notification so you get notified of new videos. And also, check out some of our other videos that we've been making. Until next time, have a great day.